In Santa Monica, police were very concerned that things could get out of hand today. They even passed an emergency ordinance banning certain items from that per protest in case of violence. Uh, this protest started around noon. It's still going pretty strong right now. Still a handful of protesters out here. For the most part, this event was peaceful. I believe that the vaccine should be a matter of individual choice for everyone. The voices of those against vaccine mandates were loud and clear along Ocean Avenue in Santa Monica Sunday. Many of the protesters out here say making the COVID vaccine mandatory is medical tyranny, including Melissa Tumim, who's running for Congress. It makes me terrified for us. Really, I am very terrified for our state. My kids were born at home. They never had a pediatrician, never had a vaccine. But concerns are growing as more businesses and organizations impose a vaccine mandate in Southern California. This time, crowds gathered to listen to speakers holding up signs as cars driving by honked in support. This is the second weekend people in Santa Monica are protesting the vaccine in the name of medical freedom. But not everyone here agrees with the message. They say my body, my choice. Now, I mean, <laughs> when it's convenient. RJ is on the other side of the issue and believes vaccines and mandates do help keep people safe. And if they have concerns, they have legitimate concerns, but the things that they're saying is not so much. I, I have my, my two vaccination. Carlos Mercado and his son are visiting from Puerto Rico. He says he can't believe so many people are rallying against the COVID vaccine when things are so different in his own country. You have to have the, the car everywhere. He notices a big difference with face coverings too. In Puerto Rico, no. We have to use all the time everywhere you go. The masks don't really work. I mean, these don't work. This can't protect you from anything. Most of the people at this protest were not wearing a mask. They'll just not wear masks and come around you and, and ask you why you have one on. And people on both sides say they are worried about the growing tension between people supporting the vaccine and those who don't. Two weeks ago, a man was stabbed when opposing groups started fighting at a rally in downtown L.A. This is the same group that, that organized the one in downtown L.A. Santa Monica police increased patrols after learning opposing groups may show up to this rally, too, banning certain items like plastic pipes and aerosol spray. At points, things got heated, but no violence was reported, and protesters say this will not be the last time they make their voices heard. I will not accept, I will not submit to that sort of tyranny. We also noticed a bunch of businesses on the other side of the street hired private security ahead of this protest. Again, Santa Monica police really did take their time warning businesses and residents about this ahead of time. They even recommended that some businesses board up their windows. But again, we have not heard of any violence stemming from this protest. Reporting live in Santa Monica tonight, Jessica O, Fox 11 News.